737 MAX jets which have been grounded worldwide since March after they were involved in two fatal crashes. The airplane manufacturer said it was providing additional information to address requests from the Federal Aviation Administration. These include details on how pilots interact with controls and displays in different flight scenarios. The 737 MAX was grounded following a fatal Ethiopian Airlines crash that killed all 157 on board. Just five months before that, a similar crash of a Lion Air flight killed 189 people. The company hopes the software upgrade and associated pilot training will add layers of protection to prevent erroneous data from triggering a system called MCAS, which had activated in both crashes. Somaliland is lobbying neighboring East African states to push for its recognition by the international community. This week, ahead of its 28th independence anniversary celebrations, the administration is hosting several delegations to demonstrate its nationhood. Hargesa, the capital of Somaliland, is just after 10 in the morning and the city is abuzz with activity. On Saturday, Somaliland will mark 20 years of self-declared independence from Somalia. A big celebration is planned, but like previous celebrations, it will be just another day for the international community, which has refused to recognize Somaliland. But Somaliland is not giving up. For 28 years, Somaliland has struggled and fought to have international community recognize it as a nation. This time it's up in that campaign, using quiet diplomacy to lobby neighbors to push for its recognition. On Thursday, a delegation from the Ugandan parliament listened to Somaliland members of parliament make their case for international recognition. It's very painful, really painful, because we have done our own part of the work. We have made peace, we have made institutions that work, and the international community is looking the other way. This time, they seem to have won the hearts of the Ugandans. The message we are taking back is first to ensure that uh, Somaliland is recognized by him as our president, that is President Museveni. Once he does that, then our country would have recognized Somaliland. And since we are a member of African Union, it will be easy at that level for us to lobby for the recognition of Somaliland. So how did we get here? Somaliland, once a British colony, united with Italian Somalia in 1960 after it got independence. But on May 18, 1991, Somaliland declared its independence from Somalia following a civil war that led to the removal of dictator Siad Barre. The Somaliland, you know, in the first place in 1960 united with Somalia and then that unity has been failed. So after the failure of the unity, the Somaliland people decided to withdraw that unit of Som from Somalia. Somaliland now issues its own passport, has its own currency and a flag. It has managed to remain peaceful despite an ongoing war in Somalia. Somaliland has regular elections since 2003. The African Union and the United Nations have however refused to recognize the breakaway nation tying its fate to Somalia's final say, which has also refused to grant Somaliland its wish. They talk about boundary box. If, for example, they recognize Somaliland, they think other uh, African regions will also ask for independence. But that's not true. Somaliland has been an independent country before they joined Somalia. Somalia. Although it has diplomatic representation in several countries, lack of international recognition means it cannot access aid or loans from multilateral institutions like the IMF and the World Bank. Sarah Kemani, SBC News, Hargesa, Somaliland.